Hi, I'm John Bauer, President of East Central College. I'm eager to talk to you about some of the highlights at East Central over the past year. One of the biggest changes, of course, this facility. This is our new business and industry center, the newest facility on campus. And in a lab like this, we have the facility, the equipment, and the faculty expertise to train students for the workforce. This $5 million facility houses our precision machining, industrial engineering technology, and HVAC programs, as well as a welding lab and the offices for the East Central Center for Workforce Development. In October, we celebrated the building and we're honored to have Governor Jay Nixon help us cut the ribbon to make it official. The largest donation in the history of the college was provided by the Imes family, owners of Ace Manufacturing in Sullivan, in the amount of $250,000 toward the new center. And we're fortunate to receive a $1 million no interest loan from the USDA thanks to a partnership with Crawford Electric Cooperative. Also, due to $1.8 million provided by the state of Missouri, we're able to renovate several areas on campus with the largest impact felt on the third and fourth floors of Hanson Hall. We take pride in having some of the best facilities, academic programs, and faculty and staff in the area. Chef Mike Palazzola of our Culinary Arts Department is a great example of that. He was named the 2017 Chef of the Year by the Chefs de Cuisine Association. Also, English instructor Dr. Patsy Watts received the Emerson Excellence in Teaching Award, and music and band director Aaron Bounds received the Governor's Award for Excellence in Teaching. We're also proud of ECC students Megan Brown and Sarah Henneke. Both were named to the Phi Theta Kappa All-Missouri Academic Second Team. And Associate Professor for Biology Kevin Dixon was recognized for his 20 years of service as an advisor for the Phi Theta Kappa chapter at East Central. Our employees were also recognized by the Missouri Community College Association. Brenda Garrison received the Senior Service Award. Joel Depker and Marty Leathers received the first Arena Award. ECC student Josie Weir was tapped to receive the Student Leadership Award. And Board of Trustees member Jim Perry received the Trustee Leadership Award after 18 years of serving on the East Central College Board of Trustees. As Mr. Perry and Tom Dill retired from the board this spring, two new trustees were voted in long-serving East Central employee Cookie Hayes and local business professional Eric Park joined the board in April. A new addition to the East Central leadership team is Dr. Tia Robinson, Vice President for Instruction. Dr. Robinson hit the ground running in July of this year and one of her first initiatives is unveiling a new class schedule for the college that includes new 14-week classes, 8-week classes, a weekend schedule, and enhanced evening offerings. Academic partnerships are crucial for our students and the new agreement with Fontbonne University creates pathways for our students in several programs. Brittany Nicole McDaniel, Phi Theta Kappa, highest honors. One of my favorite times of the year is our annual commencement ceremony. It was a pleasure to have Missouri Community College Association President and CEO Rob Dixon deliver the commencement address and present Union Resident Dave Aaron with the Alumni of the Year Award. Anna Tian and Zeke Little were named the Outstanding Students for 2016. I'm proud of our student athletes who show success on and off the field. For the past seven years, the East Central Athletic Department has held the highest overall grade point average among all the schools in the Missouri Community College Athletic Conference with a GPA of 3.16. On the field, several players were recognized for their talents. Three volleyball players and four soccer players were recognized by the MCCAC. And for the first time in the history of East Central, we had three All-Americans in one year. Shelby Friend was named second team All-American by the NJCAA and set numerous ECC softball team records in the process. Also named as a second team All-American, Jacob Moore to the NJCAA Division I men's soccer team and All-American Mackenzie Vetter named an NJCAA Division II women's volleyball honorable mention. We're always concerned about the safety and security of our students and employees. A new agreement with the City of Union means the addition of Union Police Officers Tommy Lowe and Todd Schlitt coming to the Union campus. They'll help us with emergency planning and training as well as safety on campus. And finally, the Karen Suwita Student Service Center is named for a former registrar who served from 1969 when the college opened until 2013. Her 44 years of outstanding service is the longest tenure of any East Central College employee. These are just a few of the highlights of 2016. It has been a terrific year. I'm thankful for the students, faculty, staff, and of course the community who made it all possible. And as much as we've accomplished in 2016, I'm already looking forward to a terrific 2017.